Hi guys, it's Techzilla back again with another video. This time it's a quick one. It's my 24 hours impression video of the HTC Ultra. How I'm finding the device, having owned it for 24 hours. Um, build quality, we'll talk about usage, battery, etc. Um, tomorrow I'll be releasing the 48 hour um, impressions video and the day after I'll be releasing the 72 hour impressions video to give you guys a nice overall balanced you know look at how I'm finding the U-Ultra because a lot of you out there are looking to buy the device so I thought I'd break it down to 10 minutes videos um, over the first three days <clears throat> now let's talk about the build quality Build quality so far, I've had no issues with. I've got the black one, no problems at all. The back is a fingerprint magnet. As you can see, I've got a case on here, which I'll be doing a video review of shortly. So you might want to subscribe to my channel to check that out. Um, accessories are extremely difficult to find for the U Ultra. That's first off. So if you're looking, if you're like me and you've got this case addiction, you will put a screen protector on your device. Well, you're going to struggle at the moment. Um, I've actually got a screen protector on here. I'll be reviewing that later on today. So definitely subscribe if you want to see that. This is probably the best screen protector, glass screen protector out there for the U Ultra at the moment. Right. So accessories wise, it is difficult. So let's kick off with how am I finding the fingerprint sensor? Lightning. No issue at all with the fingerprint sensor. So that is super fast no problem now the capacitive keys down here work fine but they're very very low down you've got the chin up to this part here you can see it there but look how low those capacitive keys are they're so low that when you're trying to handle the device it's big it's a big ass device and you're trying to put your thumb down there so i would say this is a two-handed device if you're going to use it, seriously think about that. It's two-handed device. Um, why they've put him down here, I do not know. They should have moved him up higher. But that's my opinion. For you, it might be different. Um, now, let's talk about the speakers, top and bottom. Much, much better than I thought they would be. They're also a lot better than the HTC 10. I'll be doing a comparison video between the the HTC 10 and the U-Ultra, so you might want to check that out, guys. I uh, haven't done it yet, but it is being prepared as we speak. Um, this has got better speakers than the, the HTC 10. Much better. Come out of that. eBay's launching. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about um, quickly with the fingerprint reader, which I didn't say, it's almost like it's too sensitive. I know it sounds crazy, but just a touch i mean literally it's like it's like um a huawei speed fingerprint this fingerprint sensor but very sensitive it's crazy sensitive really some of you will prefer it some of you will find it an irritation i don't mind it but i'm just letting you guys know um secondary display now this this is a different ball game altogether this all depends on what you as individuals find useful um, a lot of people said if you're a power user, it's very handy. No, I think it's the other way around. I'm a power user, right? And I find this um, sometimes really irritating. You can see there, look how many notifications I'm getting popping up. These are all different chat rooms I'm part of. Shout out to the talk. Well, you see what it said there. The Telegram, 17 new messages on two chats. You keep watching this as I go along. It'll just pop up, pop up, pop up. Sometimes it's like a machine gun. Look, it'll just keep going bang, 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 but it'll just keep coming and coming to the point where it becomes pointless having it because you have to drag this down, the notification panel, to see, you know, what's going on because to just do it from there is difficult, man. It's really difficult. Um, I noticed on, I don't know how it happened, I don't know if it was a fluke or what. In the battery usage, this seemed to use 6% of the battery. 6%. It hasn't happened since, 
in the 24 hours but i've noticed that so whether this is not efficient yet they probably will become better with updates over time um who knows but at the moment mm, you know it's i would say if you're a power user it's not super great i'll tell you what i do like it for is when i'm using spotify um because it comes up here so i can control the music and so on um now if i switch this off see the secondary display has gone off now and you can double tap it to bring it up that's what they say. there you go it's not always the most consistent thing so you can see that there and you can scroll through it like that see now this is an issue here but i'm listening to tracks on spotify or whatever i'm trying i want to change track now right and some of you are going to say oh you're nitpicky it's not nitpicky it's my experience i'm trying to change track and i've got notifications galore going bang 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 i can't change the track until they stop coming so i can swipe across which is an irritation um look it's still look at the messages galore coming in so whether you find that useful is entirely your own experience for me it's a little bit annoying personally um, cameras I've tested them a little bit um, I am preparing a pixel XL versus U ultra photo comparison or camera comparison battle so you know you want to check that out um, front facing cameras pretty good I've got to be honest and the back camera apart from this big ass ugly hump is really it's quite a good camera honestly it's not bad at all it's probably the best camera HTC I've put into you know that one of the devices um it's better than the uh htc 10 definitely i've compared to that but um as i said i'll be doing in that a more in-depth videos on the camera of this device um now what else we've talked about speakers are great ah yes let's talk about this this is another thing i'm finding which is irritating well not irritating sorry let's start the headphones that come with it they're the USB type C headphones. And this actually caught me out earlier on. I was listening to music with these plugged in and the battery went down to, I think 5% and I was scuppered. I couldn't use these at all. Plug them, plug the charger in to get it going, to get, you know, power the, charge the phone up. Now that's the first time this non, non 3.5 millimeter headphone jack port is really irritating me not having one but on the plus side the quality of these is absolutely phenomenal absolutely phenomenal i mean super super good quality really clear good bass excellent and that, that's no exaggeration that's me being honest with you guys um and i plug these in here you know what i'll save the mic's more in depth on my 48 hour impressions video of these but rest assured they sound excellent really really excellent um but as I said, i'll go into more depth with this and irritations i'm finding with this in my 48 hour video otherwise i'll just end up going on here up for the next 30 minutes talking about this device um touch sensitivity of the screen perfect no issue there at all does it lag? It does sometimes, but then I need to let the phone settle down a bit because it is 24 hours later. Um, I've also got the HTC Sense Companion that's finally here. And let me just click on it real quick. Hang in there. I just need a little bit of time to prepare some suggestions for you. I'll provide you a variety of suggestions here. How long they'll stay depends on their type and relevance. Now I've had this on the phone now for about an hour, hour and a half, and it's still saying that. So how useful it becomes, I don't know. You know, that's neither here nor there. Now let's touch on battery, last of all, in my 24 hours. I'm gonna do this in three, over the three days, I'm gonna try different styles of battery usage to accommodate everyone. So light user, medium user, heavy user, okay? Now, using this phone, 
as a heavy user, I have found uh, with seven hours of um, bat on on battery usage, I get around about five hours, 15 minutes of screen on time with about 5% battery left. That's what I found so far. So if you're a heavy user, heavy, heavy user like me, if you're gonna use over five hours screen on time, this will drain the battery off charge within, I'd say seven hours, you have a dead battery. Now in my 48 hour impressions, I'll give you medium usage results. Um, and they are genuine. I will, I have been using it genuinely like that. And I'll release that video tomorrow. And in the 72 hour video, I will give you a light usage of the device. But anyway, that's my impressions to start with. Is it worth 800 pounds in the US? Is it worth 650 pounds in the UK? I can't answer that for you guys. That's something you need to work out for yourself. All I can do is give you my opinion. I'll leave a link in the description where you can pick this up from imported because I've got the dual SIM version and it costs under 600 pounds. Anyway, guys, that's it. Subscribe to my channel right here. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Share my video with everyone you know on your social media and forums. And tune in tomorrow for my 48 hours impression video. It's Texilla saying take care and I'll see you all again real soon. Bye for now.